hello friends today we are going to learn the function called rank in Excel how to use rank function in Excel now if you see here this is a, these are the 10 11 names and these are the marks in their subjects and this is the total we want to rank as per the total given over here the one who has scored highest will be ranked first and second and uh, likewise so along with rank function we are going to talk about average rank function also and how to use rank function along with countif function so stay tuned till the end of the video and let us start the video how to use rank function in excel <laughs> hello all and welcome to boost your career the rank function gives the rank to a particular sale in the given range of the data now here we have this data now it will provide a rank for this particular sale this particular sale based upon the uh, rank uh, based upon their place in this database as per ascending or descending order this can be done with the help of sort also but if when do we do sort the whole data moves up upward and downwards if you do not want to do that and just provide the rank this rank function can be combined with other functions as well we can use the rank function here and get the rank of that particular uh, student this can be ascending and descending order as well so i will just go ahead and put here rank function r a n k rank now there are three functions available we will use the rank function first and then we will see how what is the use of average rank rank average and then number now this is the number for which we want to find out the rank in this database based upon the total comma reference order now this is the reference database from which we want to provide the rank get the rank for this particular student Matthew now I want to copy the formula down that is the reason I am going to lock this range because I want to use this range again and again if I do not lock this range it will the rank will this range will move down and it will give me the incorrect result so for locking this range I will use the function key called f4 now this uh, range is been rock now if I put comma here it will ask me what is the order that I want I want a descending order or ascending order by default it is descending order so I will put here comma uh, complete the formula here and then I will get the rank for this range for this first uh, first student and then I am going to copy this down the way I just now did so this is the this is what I copied this down now the first rank is for this person this uh, student 252 is the highest score second we have two scores here two people have got the same total and for them the second rank is given but if you see there is no third rank right so total number of students are 11 and we have total 11 rank the last rank is 11th rank so that number of rank is not uh, being changed but two people have been given the second rank because they are scoring the same score that is the reason we need to remember in rank function that if the scores are same the same rank will be given and the third rank is not there so third rank is given to the second one because the second rank uh, we have two people here that is the important thing that we need to remember in the rank function now we'll go ahead and learn how to use the rank average rank uh, dot average it is selected so rank dot average gives us the average ranks this cell comma reference range is this again I will lock this comma if I want to put ascending or descending order so I will complete the formula here only and then enter if you see there is no change in the first student's rank but if I copy this down you will see here there are two students who have got the same rank in the rank function second and fifth one rank is same because the marks are same but for them it, uh, Excel uh, average rank function has given 2.5 why 2.5 because there are two students here 
and average of two students is 2.5 if I uh, make this also as the same one you will see here the third rank is given the average of three for the third rank becomes three only if this student also get the same marks you will see here 3.5 is given so third rank for four times is average is 3.5 this is how the average rank function works now you will see that here we have got the second rank I will again do control Z second rank and fifth rank is given for two two people each two two student each so you want this should not be there so for first student appearing in the list should get second rank and the third uh, the second student for the same uh, marks should get the third rank you don't want this rank should be repeated so for that we'll use the rank formula along with county formula so is equal to rank so I'm here using rank only not uh, average rank rank number is this comma range is this I'm locking this range complete the rank formula I completed the rank formula and along with that plus count if count if now this is very important count if so this count if I'm going to use tab now range we know that in county formula we need to give the range and the criteria so this range and the criteria so county formula basically provides how many times this number is appearing in the list but here we want the dynamic list that is for that means for this number only this range will be used for this number 2199810 this two uh, this uh, range will be used for the third number first three numbers will be used so that in this case for example 232 30 the this student that is any uh, will the county function will count as one because till here in the 230 is appearing just one but for Deborah it is it will count as a two because for from this range to this range 230 is appearing second time so it will count as a two let us see how it works but it is very very interesting formula so range right now I'm giving this cell and again this cell only but for first cell because I want this first cell to be locked so I will lock this cell why because I want when I copy the formula down for first cell it will be F5 F5 for second cell it is F5 to F6 for third cell it should be F5 to F7 and likewise so first cell I have locked keeping the second cell as it is and then criteria is the same thing and then I will complete this and enter now see what I did first I put the rank formula plus count if and uh, the range is given only only in this cell by locking the first cell comma and the criteria is this cell only and copy this cell down you will see here for these two cells or these two cells the <coughs> the total is same the rank is given as same here but here we have different ranks the first one appearing here sixth rank and here the seventh rank but if you see here there is no first rank here it has took taken as second rank why the first not is uh, is not there because the county function is counting this as a uh, one first rank and adding this one to that one so that is the reason it is giving us two which is not correct so I will just go ahead and put here minus one at the end sorry not here I will put here minus one and the first so that I can copy this down minus one now this is the actual rank and I will copy this down I <coughs> will see here all the ranks are same but wherever we are ha we have the two totals as same rank function giving us the same rank but rank function along with count if is giving us the different rank the first person is getting fifth rank and the second person is getting sixth rank but the total ranks are 11 the last rank is 11 only so that is the use of rank function it will be very very useful when you use along with the other excel formulas so that gives us the facility to give the rank without changing the series because in sort we have to change the the database will go up and down if we sort the data so without sorting the data if you want to provide the rank use the rank function I hope you like this video if you are not subscribed to this channel yet please go ahead and subscribe to this channel.
थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो